Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys my June TBR or To Be Read. Um, these are the books I want to read in June and this list is pretty ambitious, <laughs> I have to admit, um, but I think it can be done. Maybe. Possibly. I'm going to try my hardest. Um, yeah, let's just jump right on in with the books I want to read in June. Okay? Okay. So the first book, which I'm currently reading, is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This book follows, well, it's set in Shanghai in the late 20s, and it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling. I'm not that far in, so I can't really, you know, go farther than that. Um, I think that's all the information you need, though. Um, enemies to lovers type of situation. Um, I'm really excited to read this. I've seen it everywhere. It's beautiful. Um, I had planned to read it last month in May, but hey, you know, stuff happens and it did not get read. So I'm determined to read it this month. And I'm really, really excited because the next one comes out in September, I think, or October. Anywho, I'm really excited to see what all the hype is about and to join the hype and the festivities. So there's that. The other book I'm currently reading is Shipped. I'm reading it as an ebook and um, I wanted a light, quick romance. And I think it's going to be a, a um, theme in my next couple of TBRs because I'm a little romance starved. So yes, this book follows um, two people who work for this like traveling agency and who are both competing for the same promotion at work. And they're like thrust onto a cruise ship in the Galapagos. And so I'm assuming romance ensues. Um, again, not that far into it it's okay right now you know like we haven't really gotten to the juicy stuff yet so i don't really have any formed um what's the word i'm looking for set opinions yet we'll see how it goes um the next book <laughs> i intend to read oh my god looking at it scares me um is a little life by Hanya Yanagihara. Yanagihara. Um, <laughs> yes, um, I mentioned this in my summer TBR, but um, it's happening. I think I'm ready. And I know anyone who has read it is going to laugh at me for saying that, but um, I think I've prepared myself all I can. Um, this book, I don't even really know, like, I know what it's about, but, um, it's been everywhere. I've seen everybody talking about it. Um, I've seen numerous reading vlogs. And I want to form my own opinions. So, um, yes, if you're interested just by looking at it, well, the, the description I have been told is it follows four friends throughout their life, like into college, into adulthood, but specifically follows this man, Jude, right? Yes. Um, and I've heard it is some of the best writing anyone in the world has ever read. And everyone either seems to love it or hate it. But the reigning opinion that they all agree on is that they cannot recommend this book to anyone. So I'm not recommending it to you. All I can say is if you're interested by this description or like you've seen it elsewhere, Google the trigger warnings. I cannot stress that enough. The content warnings are pretty, um, the list is long. There are a lot of things that can trigger you if you're in not the right place of mind or just, yeah, please Google the trigger warnings. I will like 
find a list and link it in the description. I'm being serious. Please look at them. Please. I cannot stress that enough. Please. Um, but I will let you guys know my thoughts one way or another at the end of this month. Okay. The next book I want to read is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, I think A Little Life is really going to, um, you know, I'm expecting the worst. So I don't, it's either going to, it's probably going to put me in a reading slump is what I'm trying to say. And I'm not going to want to read anything that's going to impact me emotionally after that. So I'm thinking Northanger Abbey is a good way to break it up because it's short, it's a classic, it's a Jane Austen. Um, I'm not expecting to cry because of it. So yeah, I don't even know what this one's about. Catherine. Okay, okay. Sure. Um, it's a Jane Austen, you know, like it, it is what it is. Um, I am excited to read this one though. So there's that. Um, the next ebook I would like to read is Fable. Um, I've had it on hold for a long time because every time the hold comes in, I'm in the middle of reading another book. So hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to read it this month. Um, I don't really know what this one's about. I just briefly glance at the description and it seems to be a YA fantasy. And it fault maybe? I'm not even sure if it's fantasy. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I've seen it on fantasy lists. Anywho, and it follows this girl on an island and there's ships involved, maybe? Who could know? Not me. Um, yeah, I just want to read it. Okay, <laughs> the next book I want to read, and I, this is the one I'm iffy about, is House of Earth and Blood which is the first book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Moss. Yes, Moss. I've been wanting to read this for like a year and a half now, ever since it came out. And I especially want to read it because she announced the next one comes out next year in January, I think. So I've seen everyone talk about it. Um, apparently it's her saddest book yet, which I'm skeptical about. Um, it is really huge. But, you know, I'm really in the mood for some high fantasy action. So I really, really want to get to this this month. However, after a little life, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be in the mood to read this. So it might get bumped to July. We'll just have to see um, how I feel. I might not be in the mood to read anything. So there's that. But hopefully... I'll get to it this month. Thank you. It's huge. Um, that I could like take someone out with that. Next book I want to read again. Don't know if I'm going to get to it. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Um, I've read The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt and I had some strong mixed opinions about it. Um, so I'm excited but nervous. I'm pretty sure it's a, um, Dark Academia, and I love Dark Academia, so I am excited. However, I have heard it's pretty pretentious and like the writing's sophisticated, so that kind of puts me off a little, but um, I've also heard that everyone loves it. So hopefully I enjoy it more than I enjoyed The Goldfinch, which was not a lot, so there's that. Okay, the last ebook I'm going to mention is Namesake, which is the second or sequel. I don't know how many are in this line of books. I don't even know if it's a trilogy or not. It's the sequel to Fable and um, yeah, that's all I, that's all I know. <laughs> I just want to read it. Like it's been on my radar, so I want to read them. That's the excuse I have. Um, yeah. The last book on this list, wow, this was a short list, wasn't it? But very um, content heavy, like these are all really long, so that's why it's short. It's The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Um, this is her 
book. I'm pretty sure this was her debut. Um, I read The Vanishing Half in May and I really enjoyed it. So I want to read this. Um, I'm assuming it follows motherhood, mothers, motherhood. I really don't know. I just saw it was on sale at my used bookstore and, um, I really like the writing in The Vanishing Half. So I figured why not read this one? And the cover is exceptional. It's so beautiful. So that's literally all I have for you guys. It seems so short to be finishing it this fast, but I know like there's probably no way I'm going to be able to read all these. Um, we'll see, I guess, in my June wrap up in a couple of weeks because time is flying really fast. Um, yeah, I'm excited, but also apprehensive to read these, namely A Little Life. Like looking at, looking at it makes me anxious. Um, but I'm gonna do it. Yay. It's, it's not a yay book um, at all. Anywho, I'm done talking about these. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, maybe possibly. Um, yeah. Peace. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> that scared me so bad. I'm looking forward to seeing my reaction on film. Um, <laughs> that scared me. Oh my god. Okay. Um, peace out. <laughs> See you guys later. Goodbye. End the video. <laughs>